What's up, guys? It's your boy, Trump to the Gamer here, back when we're Tiger Woods Video 2003, as we take on the next part of the Tiger Challenge of the Space. Mark. Black Keys, access and location to inner city thumbnail first. Let's get to it. I think we've unlocked every course in the game. Hello again, everyone. Just to go for Bill McAtee for EA Sports. The weather is spectacular today. David Faraday is here with me to bring you a shot-by-shot -shot analysis of the day's match. Let's send you down for the game's first shot. For those of you wondering when I go back to WWE 2K19 screen mode, don't worry, that'll be coming. I just want to get this done first. Or well, closely getting it done. So I can move on to things and I have to worry about plugging in my controller to play this game. This opening hole at Poppy Hills requires an accurate tee shot of about 235 yards <coughs> down the left half of the fairway. The second shot is downhill to a two-tiered green. And there's a very penal hazard all down the right side that must be avoided at all costs in order to make a decent score here. And there's also a Pokemon trading card game that requires this controller plugged in. So it's a, there's a lot of games that require the Xbox One controller of mine to be plugged into the computer to be able to play them. So that's why it's been kind of slow on the 2K19 front. But anyways, let's focus on this game, shall we? Alright, let's see what we can do here on this first hole. You know what? I'm taking driver. Maybe not. Maybe through wood is better. Yeah, let's go through wood. I thought about driver, but through wood, a driver would probably get lost in the trees, so. I did not go aggressive. Up next in the Tiger Challenge, it's Mark Kalkovecchia. Mark can be deadly accurate with his long irons, so he's never out of the hole. Just a great match. <coughs> How do you play this one, David? Step this one off, Billy, and it's about 130 yards to the hole. You get a little closer than that. Oh god. He's gonna get a close shot, isn't he? How does someone get that close? A great finish for Birdie. This putt to have the hole. Okay, we're all lined up. Here it goes. Well played hole. Nice putt. That was a nice putt. <laughs> I didn't think we'd actually get the birdie. I thought it would be short. The first of the five par threes here at Poppy Hills incorporates two greens for the different lengths of this hole, which can range from 103 to 159 yards. Note that the left green is uphill, and it'll play a little longer than the actual yardage. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Let's see what we can do. This is dead at it, Billy! Oh God! I don't like this. <clears throat> I don't like it one bit. Can you believe it? That's a birdie. Holy crap! I actually chipped that in. Damn! I'll take uh, about. A thousand dollars, I'll take about eleven thousand dollars for it. I never made a chip and shot that far away. 
That might have saved the day right there, folks. Holy shit. <laughs> The third hole at Poppy Hills is a dog leg to the left which forces a tee shot of at least 215 yards to clear the corner. The approach is uphill to a two-tiered, severely sloped green. Placing the ball below the flag stick is a must here. Alright, next hole, we're all even right now. Okay, next hole, we're all even at the moment. This should play well from here, Billy. Ah, he wasn't quite as aggressive as I was. Oh, come on! Is he gonna get this for every shot? That is just not right! That's incredible! Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, let's see if we can get it close here. That didn't work. Incredible! Yeah, we got a much closer step here. Easy part. That's a birdie. What? All right, here we go. That's pretty darn close. You're got it now. Is that three in a row? Yep, sure is, Tiger. This player's a pretty good putter. Don't look away, or it might go in. Okay, going to the fourth. Even score so far. <clears throat> First of five par fives at Poppy Hills is a double dog leg swinging to the right and then back to the left. The tee shot should be played down the left side and a second of 195 yards to the second turn. A short third is left to the largest green on the golf course. This green is pitched sharply from back to front. The fourth hole is by no means an easy birdie. All right, let's see what we can do. Rough assisted, I'll take it. <laughs> Tell us what you have, David. Well, the old stripey head cover might come off here. We're right up. Oh, well, it's got to be close to 300 yards. Probably too aggressive, but I'm gonna give it a shot. 
This might be a little aggressive, guys, but I'm going to go for it. I want a shot at Ego to take the lead. Here he goes. Oh, clearing the trees. In the rough, but I'm actually very close. It's hung up in the rough, I'm afraid. Nice. Looks like my aggressive move paid off there. This part for Bert. All right, let's see if we can nail this. Got four birdies in a row. Yay, birdie! And that put us up. I thought he had a birdie par, a uh, birdie shot, but I guess we're just par shot. But I'll take it. We're finally got a lead on the board. My aggressive moves paid off. The fifth is a straight golf hole, which provides the first look at water on the golf course. The approach is usually from a downhill lie, causing the ball to slide from left to right, thus bringing the lake very much into play. Okay, next hole here. This should play nicely. In the fairway. Alright, right here. One yards. I think this one will be on the dance floor. Oh no. Yeah, it's on the dance floor, right? And it's dangerously close to the hole. Okay, I thought it was close to the floor. Thank goodness. This is looking perfect, Bill. That's actually pretty close. Mark Kalkovec for Bert. This will have the hole. All right, let's see if we can't nail this puck, shall we? That's a birdie. Got it. Four birdies in a row. I am on a hot birdie streak. <laughs> Sixth hole is an innocent looking par three, but large bunkers left, right, and short can put a skid mark on your scorecard. Tall pines help block the prevailing headwind, but don't let that fool you. Once the ball gets above the tree line here, that wind might wreak havoc with your tee shot. Okay, sixth hole, we're doing good so far. This is right at it, Billy. Okay, hit a little too hard, but that's fine. We can easily work, work around it. Maybe we can get another ship in Miracle. <laughs> okay, he didn't even... Okay, he's on the grid, but he's pretty far away. Okay. I'll take $4,000 for it in the pin. Watch closely. This player is just pure with a flat stick. You might as well give this one. Not this time. This for a half. Happy to escape with a pardon. To the seventh hole. 
The seventh at Poppy Hills is an uphill sweeping dogleg left with a fairway that falls off to the right and is guarded on the left by a bunker. The second shot is all uphill to a green sloping from front to back. Okay, seventh hole. Let's see what we can do. Okay, everyone. Seventh hole. Let's see what we can do. Like the looks of this one. It's just fine. Nice thing. He's Kyle Kovacki didn't have a weird swing like Jim Furyk. This one's in a good spot. Nice job, nice job. Nice and close, I'll take $2,600. He said this guy was a great putter, but he hasn't made a distance up yet. That's another birdie in a row. I think that's like five in a row now. Two up, going to the eighth. To the eighth hole. Let's try to put a stranglehold on this guy. First of four sharp dogleg holes. The eighth is a par four that requires a tee shot of 225 yards down the left-hand side of the fairway. The approach is guarded by a tall Monterey pine and a large flower-shaped bunker short of the green. The green's too tiered, with the tier running perpendicular to the approach. Okay, let's take our next shot so we can start putting a stranglehold on this guy, Kalkovecchia. Fine, we can work out of that. He wasn't nearly as aggressive as I was. Well, finding uh, this green from there might be a problem. That's uh, that's in the long stuff. Give me a little extra club to get all this rough and on the green. There we go. Nicely done. That'll be in good shape. I don't believe I just saw that. This will have the hole. Okay, let's take a look at the thing here. Here goes. Got the birdie. Oh yeah, another birdie. We are on fire. <laughs> to the night hole. The inward hole on the front nine of Poppy Hills is reachable for the longer hitters with a drive aimed between the two fairway bunkers. As designed, the drive should be played up to the right of the bunkers, 
the second along the left tree line to the layup area, and the approach across the corridor to the deepest green on the golf course. All right, let's put a stranglehold on this guy, shall we, guys? Here we go. Ugly, 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 ugly. Alright, folks, let's put a strangle on this guy. Alright, here we go. Three oh four, nicely done. And he goes in one up. Yeah, David. Just a little over 210 yards, maybe close to 215. Target acquired. Great. You gotta spend your daylights out to get there, I'll do it. Hey, we made it! What a gutsy play. On and two. Damn right. This for an Eagle Three. Okay, let's nail this. Probably it is, but we'll see. Ooh, this golfer's a deadly putter. This one's as good as in. Or not. Okay, so we'll both take birdies. Let's find that name. There's a birdie. This for a half. Okay, let's give it a shot. David, perhaps the merest suggestion of right to left in this one. Nothing to it, huh? That's three in a row. More than three in a row, I'd say about five or six in a row. Woo! Another birdie, we're going to the back nine. And another yummy power five! Yay! Wow, we got a lot of par fives. We even got a par five on the 18th. Let's do it. The back nine at Poppy Hills begins with the signature hole of the golf course and the only blind tee shot on the course. Once again, it's a par five that's reachable for the longer ball strikers, but for those not going for the green, the play is to hit your second shot down the right side, avoiding the lake. This leaves a short approach to a green sloping from right to left. All right. Okay, here we go, another far five. Let's smoke it! A tee shot like this will usually work. It's easy 300 yards, I'd say. Nope, not quite. This looks good, it's down the middle. The green's below you here, and I think three iron may be enough. Let's go for another green! Okay, we're going for another green. Let's hit it. Okay, let's hit it. And not hit the water, of course. Oh yeah, it's clear. It's clear they're going to make it. Need to slow it down just a tad. Oh, 
It's on the green! He's like, oh! It's on the green! <laughs> I love when he does that! Mark Chalkovec for Eagle. Oh, damn! There it is, an Eagle. We gotta nail this. Eagle 3. We gotta make an eagle ourselves. Hot damn! Yeah, want us to make an eagle? You got it, son. There it is. That's an eagle. We get sixty-five hundred dollars for that, and we still stay two up to the eleventh hole. The eleventh hole is a par three with numerous flagstick locations because of the triple tiered surface. Yardages to the middle of those respective tiers are 193 yards to the front, 207 yards to the middle, and 219 yards to the back from the championship tees. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get there in the first go. Might need a little help. Uh, in the rough. That's fine. Just take it. Go on. So he didn't make it either. He's in the sand trap. Yeah, well, alright. Uh, uh, I don't know what that last one was, but we have, uh, we have a chance from here. This is a miraculous side. What a shot. How did he do that? This putt to have the hole. All right, let's nail this. Rimmed out, but it dropped in anyway. Nice. To the 12th. The twelfth of Poppy Hills is a sharp dogleg right with crossing bunkers in the landing area. There's out of bounds along the right hand side of the fairway from T to green. And the third shot is a downhill approach to a green that's very difficult to read as putts often break in the opposite direction from what your eyes tell you. Okay. Twelfth, let's see how we can do it. Okay, the twelfth. Let's see what we can do. This should be in good shape, Billy. Very tip of the rough. That's not like a any trap. It got caught up in the rough belly, but it shouldn't be too bad from where he's lying. Let's go for two! Alright, 12th hole. Let's see if we can't put a bigger hole in. Let's put this guy in a bigger hole than he already has, shall we? Sounds like a good idea to me. Let's do it. Nice fairway. No rough worries here. That should work out nicely. I might try a five wood here since uh, this is downhill. Downhill, but we're gonna give it a shot. Rolling for the green. Okay, folks, we're going for the green. Let's get there. Okay, shot that off balance. Oh, God, going for a sand trap. It's going for a sand trap. Going for a sand trap. Wait, no, it's not. It's rolling, rolling onto the green. We did it on into. 
Okay, we'll see if we can make our putt from there. Oh no, he might get closer. We did it. On and two. This for an eagle three. Gotta make this. Gotta put the pressure on him. Okay, let's put some more pressure on this guy. Got it. That's an eagle. Another eagle. I lost count how many I hit this time. I think I got the second one. Another six five hundred dollars. And here is a terrific putter. This could be trouble for you. Not really, because I've already got my eagle. He got his. Say so both eagle the hole. Find me to the thirteenth. Okay, off to the thirteenth hole. The thirteenth is an uphill swinging dog leg to the right, and it's the only hole in the golf course without a fairway bunker. The second shot plays one club longer, not only because the hole is uphill, but because the green is also elevated. Consider yourself lucky to escape with par on this one. Alright, let's see what we can do here on the 13th. You know what? I'm feeling ballsy. Let's go for driver. This should work out nicely. This should be in perfect shape. Ah, uh, too bad. You're in the rough, meanwhile I'll get to the green. At least I hope so. With the sand wedge here. I need a little spin assistance. Safely on, this is in good shape. Okay, that sets us up for a potential birdie. Well, he's going to be struggling just to make par. This is a birdie putt. Attention, this hole is now closed down, as in lockdown. Another birdie and we'll work three. Fourteenth. We have three hundred and fourteenth. We can go up four, we'll be pretty much in a four door mill. Let's do it. Fourteenth is a sharp dog leg to the left, which requires a tee shot of about 225 yards over or just to the right of the fairway bunkers. The second is severely uphill, forcing the player to use at least one more club. It's imperative here to avoid the deep bunker that guards the front left of this green. Okay, 14th. Let's put a lock on it. No, that's good. Let's go what they suggest. We don't want to go too aggressive. This is a two iron, I believe. Got a lead. No need, no need to be overly aggressive. He'll be in good shape with this one. Maybe a five iron here. It's uphill, you know. Okay, a little uphill, but we can manage it, I think. Here it goes. He's got this one headed toward the sand. Oh god. Heading for a sand trap. Heading for a date on the beach. Look out! It's up to rely on our short game. Now we, we're not going to like this lie at all. This is uh, this ball went in with like a left hand thread. It's buried. I 
don't believe it. What a chip in. That might have saved the, that might have saved our chances of uh, getting this hole. There's another eight thousand another eighty six hundred dollars. And it does! Cause he missed the birdie. This to have the hole. That chip in saved our saved our three uh three stroke lead. So if we win this next hole, it's all over. Winner tie, it's over, this I think. Long par three plays slightly downhill to a green that will be receptive to most tee shots. However, don't flirt with a back pin placement as any ball over this green is a devilish up and down to say par. All right, let's see if we can wrap this up. Great shot. Way off target. Oh, yeah, well, I'm familiar with that spot. That would be, uh, that would be silage. That's your bird. Are you serious? All right, let's go for this. He's dormy three as we head to the 16th hole. Of course, I'm dormy three. I'm not good. We can wrap it up in the next hole. The 16th at Poppy Hills is a demanding dog leg right par four, and possibly the most difficult hole on the golf course. It requires a long tee shot just to the left of the fairway bunker, and a solid approach to a large green guarded by two bunkers, short left and right. Time to set up the final shot to this, of this uh, match. Billy. I like the looks of this one. It's just fine. Show off. Watch your club to avoid the sand trap. And that doesn't look gonna work at all. I can already see it's gonna land in the rough. He's caught the rough with that one. Well better rough than a sand trap. Oh shit. Man, that was good. Seen your opponent putt, and you could be in trouble here. Calcabecchia wins the hole. Okay, we'll take the take the seventeenth now. The final par three at Poppy Hills is all downhill to the second largest green on the golf course. The green is guarded by a lateral water hazard on the right, along with four bunkers. One of those not visible from the tee is short left of the green and is known as the surprise bunker. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, let's see what we can do here. this to win the match. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Okay. Just take it on the 18th, it's a lot easier. This hole's tricky anyway. Call it, I'd say this one is going in. Okay, fine, just take it on the 18th.
We won because he missed a shot. Damn! I'll take it though! <laughs> we won because he missed a shot. $850,000 first. Sweet! He had a chance to keep it going and he blew it! Awesome! That never happens! Yay! Haha! <laughs> Alright. We'll get the money momentarily. Alright, let's see our cash flow. $7,300 for that. Nice. Bonus, winning margin. Oh my god, we got a million dollars! Holy shit! We got a million dollars! Can you believe it? Let's spread out the cash. Okay, so we got 92, 92, 92, 91 through it. So good. We're doing great. Okay, in our next video, it'll be a skins game. But till next time, it's your boy Chum City Gun Tunnel out. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to your determination today. Check out my friend Mel at Mel's Match at 7 for our wrestling know how. If you're into that sort of thing, help us find the new courage and let you tune in to all our video demons. Until next time, peace out.